Hi, I'm James. Hi, and I'm Shaz, and this is Yogi, and we work for the Google Analytics Premium team here in London. Savvy marketers understand that it's more than just capturing your audience. It's actually a quite a complex picture. It's about planting the seed, nurturing it, and growing it to its full potential. So when it comes to giving credits to all the elements of your marketing campaign, and even more importantly, for budget allocations, then one has to look at all of the marketing channels and gain a holistic view in order to take it into consideration. What Shaz is talking about, of course, is attribution. So last year, we worked with eConsultancy to gain some stats and look at businesses and how they use attribution to improve their marketing budgets and their results. What we found was that 72% agree that marketing attribution leads to better budget allocations. We also found that 63% got a better understanding of how their digital channels work together. And further to that, we found that 58% had clear insights into their audience. Although only 14% of respondents consider last click attribution to be very effective. It seems to remain common, most likely because most businesses haven't yet found the right attribution model. In another study we did with Forrester, we found out similar stats. 67% of marketers found that attribution is highly useful and helps them make smarter decisions. However, only 31% of those respondents are actually using attribution. Why are there so many laggards in attribution? And what are we talking about when we say data-driven attribution? Maybe we can do demystifying attribution 101? What do you think, Yogi? Let's use a real-life example. Let's take Manchester United football team. Wayne Rooney, the star of their team, always gets the credit for scoring the goal. But what about the rest of the team? How do we measure those? I mean, after all, Wayne Rooney may be good, but there's no way he did that all by himself. Someone passed him the ball. Exactly. The team is part of the effort. And that's what we need to get to the bottom of when we talk about attribution. Attribution models is a rule or a series of rules that measures and assigns different credit to touch points and goals within a conversion funnel. Mm -hmm. This can easily be put into practice with Google Analytics. For example, the last interaction model in Google Analytics assigns 100% of credit to that last interaction. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. In contrast, the first interaction model assigns 100% of credit to the touch points that initiate the conversion path. And all businesses are different, so you can use the model comparison tool to compare different attribution models according to your own business needs. In the tool, though, the calculated conversion value will differ, of course, according to the different attribution model that you chose. In a recent case study, a large telecommunications company using data-driven attribution saw some amazing results. They used data-driven attribution to help optimize media spend and capture small business leads. After using data-driven attribution, they found new confidence in understanding and analyzing their display results. They saw leads from display increase 10% while their cost per lead remained flat. They also saw that some media placements had been undervalued by 58%. What data-driven attribution does is it understands the customer journey, whether they've made a purchase or not. Our modeling technology, based off your data, automatically assigns different values to your different touch points. So one can see why attribution is so important. After all, marketeers not only want to justify their marketing spend, they want to optimize it. So they're looking at attribution to see how different medias perform and to optimize their media marketing mix to ensure that they get the best results. OK, so we've run through the basics of attribution. But what can we give you to help with your business when you're looking at attribution? So one, focus on your true business objectives. Make sure that your KPIs are in line with your business. And also, don't let your organizational silos stop you. Focus on what is truly important to you. Two, measure customers, not just transactions. Measure long-term customer value rather than pure revenue. And look at which channels bring you your best customers. And three, attribute value across your entire customer journey. Understand what your customer journey really looks like and look holistically across the whole path. You can attribute credit to various marketing touch points to help you uncover opportunities that you may not have seen previously. Four, prove the incremental impact of your marketing spend. Identify vital channels and opportunities, then experiment to prove the value of your efforts. All right, guys. Well, thank you for listening and happy analyzing. You can find all the stats we spoke about today on thinkwithgoogle.co.uk. Bye from us from now. Bye. Bye, Yogi. Say bye. <laughs>